Hey guys, how's it going? It's Noosh. Thank you so much for coming uh, and watching the video tonight. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification and make sure you like the video. Tonight's video is going to be for the Pisces. Um, the, uh, basically the one I did for Aquarius was um, May 20th to May 27th. So the week starting with May 20th going into May 27th. So why don't we see what is in store for you like what are you guys going through what's coming up for you guys what have you guys gone through in the recent past the recent past could be like a week ago a couple days ago for some and again guys if it doesn't resonate with you don't get upset it's just maybe wasn't meant for you um, and I may not be the reader for you I'm not ashamed to say that at all um, just like a Pisces I'm just honest about it like you know it is what it is if you like it you like it if you don't you don't um, so Pisces, what's going on with you guys? Um, I know there's a lot of things happening in the sense where you guys are moving forward. You guys are trying to get through this, um, transit that's going on in Uranus and Taurus. Uranus and Taurus. I love that word Uranus. <laughs> I love the planet Uranus. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's see what's going on with you guys. I have a few friends that are Pisces and I know they're going through a lot. Um, I know some Pisces are a little bit sad because some things are ending, but it's okay. It's good. Ending is good. So always think of it this way, Pisces. If something ends, there's always something better for you. And you guys are a magical sign. True magic. Like your essence is magic. You guys are magic. Whatever you guys actually put your mind and heart to, you can create so much. Um, with Pisces, you guys are all about feelings and experience. So when a Pisces creates something, it's out of feelings and emotions and experience. Um, Janae Aiko is a Pisces, um, and I love her. I love her so much. If you guys haven't checked out her album, Trip, oh my God. Whoa. Psilocybin in my pocket. Oh, we got one card that came out. But, you know what? I kind of don't want to use this card because I actually did not ask for guidance yet. So, hold on. Let's start with that. Spirit Guides Universe, what do you have in store for Pisces? For all our Pisces, universe, spirit guides, ancestors, angels. Can I get three cards for Pisces explaining what happened, what's going on, and what's to come? Three cards. Thank you, universe. Thank you so much. Thank you, universe. Thank you so much. One more card, universe. Thank you. Oh, and we got the card. It's funny. I actually seen this card earlier today in someone else's reading. <clears throat> All right. So, I'll put this here, put this, this, like that, and flip it over. All right. So, what's gone on in the recent past for you guys is the world upside down. Can you guys see that? There we go the world upside down I mean has your world been upside down <laughs> it's the first thing that comes to mind because you see guys if this card was like this that means you have the world everything's going good everything's in balance it's, it's like a full circle um, but it being like this something's been upside down recently or has been upside down for a while and and this is what you guys have been dealing with when you look at this card also upside down to me, I feel like it's, um, you were trying to get something going, but it's not moving. So you're, you're in the moment of, don't worry, it, this can happen. Maybe next card, you know, I'm kind of curious to see what the next card is. But again, guys, if you look at the details on the card, she's upside down. The cherub's upside down. Wh whatever is inside the circle is upside down. So sometimes this card can represent the fact that our feelings are upside down. Um, what's around us is upside down, what we're going through, our emotions and everything. Um, I kind of want to say it was kind of sad. Like you guys had to make a decision or you guys are in, in making a decision of something. And that's why you, you guys want the world. The world wants, the, and the universe wants to give you the world, but you guys are somewhere where it's, it's not turning the way it's supposed to. So it's kind of in a halt. Oh, that's another thing. This kind of tells me it's in delay. Something happened that it was in delay. Next card that you have is, ooh. Third party situation. 
So Pisces, is that why your world is upside down? Because you guys are dealing with three things. Three people are involved in this. This could be someone that you're with and they're involved with someone. Or you're involved with someone and you're with someone. Or you're thinking about someone when you're with someone. Overall, your mind is not where it is, where it's supposed... Well, not, I'm not going to say where it's supposed to be. If you're with a partner, you are obviously... Or the partner is thinking about somebody else. Or you are planning on... Kind of leaving the partner out in the cold and going back to something else. That's what this card always tells me. That there's a three-party situation going on. And you're a part of it. And the fact that the world card was upside down, now I understand what's going on, why your world is upside down. So, Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising, Pisces Moon. And sometimes, guys, a three-party situation does not have to be a physical, you know, another person. Um, it could be, um, say, like, you're, you're, you're married and your husband spends a lot of time at work. That third-party situation would be work because he's always concentrating on work. Now, in that sense, for the couples, yeah, this could be going on where the, the partner either of the partners are not spending time with each other they're involving something else in it or someone's mind is somewhere else i kind of want to say someone's involving something else into their relationship or someone's leaving someone out in the cold because of this three-party situation hmm yep obviously we know it's a three-party situation going on for you guys right now kind of giving up your swords here and everybody's walking away well, Pisces, if you guys, if you guys were with someone, you're kind of done with the conflict. You're done fighting. You're done dealing with people because you guys got the um, one, two, three. You got the four of swords. Four of swords. I mean, it's 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 an okay card. I mean, I like I try to be positive with everything, but I mean, I guess I also have to be real. But yeah, man, this is more about like you guys were arguing. You went over, you were in a conflict with someone, and you know what? It's kind of over with because everybody just walked away from it. They dropped their swords and said, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out. Or this could be you kind of saying, I'm out, fuck this. This is what's going on. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Because of this, my world's been upside down. I'm about to be out this bitch. Like, I'm out. I, I can't do this anymore. For some people, it may be, you know, even job-wise. Like, you're just like, okay, I'm done. So overall, this kind of means you're done. Which is not a bad thing. So think about it. What is it that you guys are going through and that you're done with it? And if you are, it's okay. I'll get a, I'll, I'll get a clarifier for this. Like, what's, if your next move is, like, you know, coming after that, is it a good move or not? One card to clarify the Four of Swords for Pisces. One card to clarify the sword. The Four of Swords for Pisces. What's going on? Is the outcome good if everybody walks away? What is the outcome if everybody walks away? It's Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? Four of Swords. Whoa, something happened. Ah. It's like it wanted to come out, but it didn't. All right, so one more card. One more card. One more card, guys. One more card to explain this. Kind of doesn't want to explain it. Let's see. And I'm going to try to be quick, guys, because my battery on my camera is literally dying. It's on red. Oh, as soon as I said that, the card pops out, right? Thank you, universe. Ah. Wow, judgment. Judgment's coming, so that's good. And if you guys, you know, go back into my other readings, um, if you ever want to, I always talk about the judgment card being, um, if you did good, you receive good. You know, if something was against you, and, and, you know, or someone was against you, and you did nothing wrong, it's coming back for you. Like, someone was cheating on you, they're gonna get their karma. You're gonna get your karma if, if you were cheating on somebody. Whatever it is, it kind of feels like, you know, everything's going back to the balance. Everyone's going to be judged in this situation. Everything's going to return back to balance. So, by everybody walking away from the arguing, from the conflict, you got the judgment card. So, Pisces, your reading was pretty easy tonight. Seriously, it's, it's pretty cutthroat. Like, yo, you, your world was upside down because there was a three-party situation going on. You walked away from it, and now you have judgment in front of you. Now, depending on if you were the person who was cheating or were being cheated on, justice is going to be served that way. I mean, outcome, just try to do as much as good you can so good can come back to you. Don't try to hurt anybody. If you want to, if you need to be honest with someone, make sure you are honest. And make sure if you're going to walk away from someone, you don't do it in the sense where you hurt them. Intentionally hurting someone is far more worse of a characteristic in a person than unintentionally hurting someone. 
Like if you fell in love with someone and you unintentionally, you know, did all of this and it's okay, but if you intentionally meant to go out and cheat on somebody, your judgment is going to be served on you or vice versa if somebody did this to you. Wow, so that was pretty easy, guys. I hope, you know, the rest of the week is good for you guys. I mean, it might be a little shaky, but you guys are Pisces. You know, you guys you guys get through it. Um, one thing I do like about Pisces, you guys are really good, where in the sense where if there's an obstacle that comes in front of you, you kind of like say, you know what, okay, this is the obstacle. I'm gonna do what I need to do in order to get over it. And you, again, I said, you guys are magical creatures. And don't worry, things are kind of doing this because of Saturn's retrograde, the transit in Uranus and Taurus. But I feel like by the time, you know, six more months, I think you guys will be a little easy and things will get better. So September, October time, I really feel that, you know, things are going to get far much better for you. And that judgment that you're going to receive is actually, you're going to start seeing the flavors of it. The flavors of it. What's the flavor tonight? Oh. Why is it so blurry? Damn it, camera, listen. There you go. So you're going to get your fruits out of it. Either they're going to be really nice sweet fruits or rotten fruits, you know, depending on what you do. Also, going forward, try to be as good as you can. Pisces, I know you guys are... Uh, like ah whatever everything is whatever you know everything is it is what it is maybe sometimes you know we need to stand up and care for something and actually listen to our hearts and our souls but thank you guys again for watching this video i really appreciate the likes and the following that you do um please check out my instagram it's uh light work uh no she light work af um and i hope to see you again soon with your next reading that's coming up and in the meantime, guys, take care, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and um, hit the notification button. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.